Everybody, Princess DeBerry here. Today, we're back at Universal. We're going to Lombard's Seafood Company. Yes, this place is on the list of things for us to try here at our sort of Universal Food Series. So we're going to run in and see if they actually have anything we can eat. Be sure to donut, 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 donut. You heard the girl. Does this kind of remind you a little bit of Columbia Harbor House? I feel that a little bit in here. An area that doesn't have anything to do with anything from one building to the next. Okay. We have the Lombard Margarita. It looks margarita -y. Oh, it's very sweet. It's highly sugary. Um, not my favorite margarita. It's it's a little it's just a little too sugary for me. Alright, so we get some appetizers. That's how it helps. Tender margarita is still good. Turn out of five. Kate Fear. Fear for me because it's full of coconut. Oh, I turned my lights. Is it not the coconut drink? Okay, I lied. Vodka cranberry. This actually isn't bad. I would squeeze the slime into it if this wasn't bear's drink. I feel like I like his more than mine. As for the uh, Cape Fear. Not sure I like that. Maybe with some more. No, the princess wants to switch. I am not going to fight her. I don't know why. Do not like it. One and a half out of five plus. I'll switch. Here we have a lovely pasta, broccoli, tomatoes, penne, and beyond sausage. I cannot recall the last time that I put beyond sausage inside of pasta. I'm sure that I have. It's just been probably some months, but with this type of sauce, it's like a green and not a red. I'm interested. It smells herby. Hmm. The penne is good. The beyond is cooked. It's seared very well. It's not seasoned that much, so it's slightly bland. But this dish rests very heavily on the um, sauce to kind of put it all together. I can definitely taste that the sausage was frozen. It has freezer burn. But um, the cook on the pasta is good. The, the sauce itself is good. The broccoli is steamed perfectly. It's not raw, which is like you know, something that annoys me if I have raw broccoli. I would say that this is like a middle of the road pasta dish. It's not horrible, but it's not like, oh my god, I can come here and get this. But it's not bad. The bear might like it a little bit more than I do. I like how the simplicity of this dish. Everything seems pretty well covered in whatever sauce they used. The beyond the roasted tomatoes, 
broccoli. This is something that I would probably make at home. I don't usually come to a theme park where stuff I'd make at home, but it looks pretty, at the very least. I can see this, sort of see what the Prince is talking about. Broccoli tomato pasta, great. Sauce is good, well covered, not overly covered. But the Beyond sausage is just like cooked and topped with the sauce. It doesn't really mesh well with the rest of the flavors. Yes, it's chopped up and like mixed in, but it doesn't really feel like part of the dish. I think it's kind of the problem. It's average, but I expect a bit more than average from a table service restaurant. Two to five bucks. I was concerned about the portion size for these tacos. It's usually when you get fish tacos in some places, a little sliver of fish in taco. Now these are sizable portions of fish in a huge bed of slaw with grilled pineapple on top and this sauce on top with more greens if you want those. And the tacos are absolutely massive. So I think I will be quite full after this is done. Hopefully, I'll be quite satisfied as well, but we'll see. Now, the fish. It's perfectly cooked, it's flaky, and not dried out. The blackened seasoning is on point. Not overly seasoned if I'm just, you know, you're eating with a salt block. The grilled tomato with the blackened, I think, was the way to go. Everything I've gotten is grilled, and you do have the option to get these tacos with grilled mahi instead of blackened mahi. Um, I think the blackened with the grilled pineapple is the way to go. Excellent flavor. Feels nice and like oceanside and tropical without being too heavy. I could go with a little bit less like this lettuce and rice filling because it is a lot. Well, it doesn't really add a whole lot to it. They didn't really need to add that much to do it. But over the presentation, it's definitely going to be filling because of like, all the extra rice you get. Three, three out of five plus. That's for this little side set order. Watercress and radish. A little vinaigrette on it. It helps with the plating. It's extra. You can do without it, or you can eat it. It's not bad. Two and a half out of five bucks. I just want to give you an idea, you guys. That's oil. It's just oil. <laughs> Mojito. Yes. Give me that mint. It's like eating a mint leaf and I love it. Never been the hugest fan of mojitos. Being a Floridian, I keep trying them, hoping I'm gonna like them. Let's we'll see if now it's any different. As much as I wanna like this drink, every time I have the mojito, I have the same thought. It's like a swamp lily pad made into a drink with club soda. I do not like a one out of five of those. Why are you even order a mojito then? Just to do it. Oh. The waterfront, it kind of looks like a Long Island, but I know it's not. And I know that there's coconut in this. Barry's just trying to torture me with coconut now because I torture him with watermelon. I took the tiniest of tiniest sips of that and it's just straight like pina colada. So much nope. But you know what I will do? Because he wants to be a jerk and feed me coconut. Right, Bear. Be mad. I don't care. As for this waterfront, <laughs> jokes on the princess. She should know by now. I hate cherries. I don't feel bad about that at all. Oh. God. It's average, but at least I get to wash that mojito taste in my mouth. Two and a half out of five claws. Oh, 
hole. I still like the tacos. I'm feeling less and less good about all the rice, but the fish is good. It's a little bit less rice, and I'm a bit happy. Uh, it just feels like I have all this extra filler. It's like eating packing peanuts in a taco. There's no flavor to it. It doesn't add anything to the dish. It's just there. But I'm keeping my rating for now. So I'm about halfway through my meal and Bear's already done. I just choked on water so my my eyes are a little watery from coughing the water choking. But I'm slowing down and there's so much food left still and Bear is just sitting here empty with his drink. He still has a salad left though, which is interesting. I really thought the salad was gonna be like three bear bites. But apparently it's a bear bite and it's done. Bear, if you want some of this pasta. I'm not gonna finish this. There's no way. He eats so freaking fast. He walks slow, but he eats fast. I don't understand. I don't understand. I'm a wizard. I arrive exactly when I mean to. I'm trying with this broccoli. It's so huge. Like, this is one piece. Too much. Oh, we just finished at Lombard Seafood Company. It was so good. I was surprised. I wasn't expecting much from this place, being that we walked by and there's never really anybody here, but the food is surprisingly decent. I think to be fair, the last couple times we were here, this restaurant was closed. Yes. And now it's open and yes. I enjoy the vegan options, but I don't think it would be my first choice for vegan options. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't great either. Points for being different. But at yes. the same time, apparently, and we didn't know this before we came, is this is part of the password appreciation stuff? Yes. Uh, the password is set upstairs now. And they do have a, a password exclusive menu item as well. Yes, I couldn't get it because I forgot my magic pills. But at the same time, it was a crab well, ragu. Crab ragu, yes. And while sitting upstairs, I guess isn't a huge perk. The view is nice, and it's it something. Pass holders have kind of gotten the shorter than the stick at a lot of this at a lot of theme parks here in Orlando. The fact they're doing something and they're doing a lot of some things at different places around the park right does matter and I, we appreciate that i think i would much rather go to the pass holder thing at confisco grill than here but i'm still super appreciative of what they have offered but uh if the menu changes or there's something new that, that comes out i would definitely be willing to come here me too and try this place again their tuna poke comes to mind but uh if you guys have been here you've had uh, some sort of experience let us know in the comments as always Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this, and... We have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday. And we will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl.